Modern education teaches everyone everything from science to maths to literature, but also makes us learn the art of sophistication, confidence, and practicality. So, I would like to ask you, what are you your views on this, Ranavit Sain? Confidence is the thing which everyone needs to have. So, I believe in confidence. So that is that is the way where. Uh, so you say you are a star performer, but you don't have that confidence and guts to. Uh, it can say confidence over courage. So probably courage is the one that you need to have always. So that is what it is. So go ahead. Thank you, sir, for sharing your views. Good evening, everyone. I Salita and, and I Shruti, the hosts for today's show, welcome you all to the presentation phase of the Battle of Great Minds Season Two. An initiative by LND Global and Connect Talks. groups are here to present on the topic modern education. It was earlier said that the three basic necessities of humans are food, clothing and shelter. But now there is an addition of fourth basic necessity that is necessary to survive in this competitive world. Yes, I'm talking about education. Wherever you go, whatever you do in any particular field, education is must. Decades have gone away and education, learning still dominates the world at large. The world is becoming modern in every aspect and so is the modern education. Modern education is today's reality. But what exactly is modern education? This is what is our aim to explain you today. But to put in very simple words, modern education is to learn via technology. Well, not just technology, there are several aspects as well which we are going to cover. In the book titled Origin, written by a famous author, Dan Brown, he mentioned the word Technium, that is the seventh kingdom of life, the kingdom where technology and humans will be clubbed together in unison in future. So if technology gets incorporated with humans, what changes will it take? What changes will it place in human uh, in education system? Well, to talk about today, modern education is transforming the edu traditional education system. Now, why is it happening and what are its consequences is the question to answer. So, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I will be handling about the genesis of modern education and the difference between the modern education and the traditional education. So now I will be talking about the genesis of modern education. So the question arises, how did the modern education arise in itself? So basically for understanding this, we need to go back into the history and we need to start right from the beginning. So initially we used to get the vocational education. That is my parents used to teach me what they used to do. For example, we have written here about uses of animal skin for various purposes, making tools and even religion was taught by the family itself. Now it is imperative to understand that after a certain period of time, the education got transferred into the Gurukula system. Now this Gurukula system in itself was very much oriented towards only a particular group of individuals, especially towards the kings. Now after the genesis of democracy, this system of education got opened to the masses at large. Now, when we come to jobs for you, we, you always ask us to talk something beyond the CV. So now I'll talk something beyond my PPT. So basically, the modern education in itself is a very relative concept. What is modern education back then is not modern education now and the procedure continues. So first, the vocational education was replaced by Gurukul system, which was the modern education. Now the Gurukul system is being replaced by the schools. And now the schools are going to be replaced of the modern means by the means of the uh, various uh, technological development. So basically what I wanted to posit over here was that what is modern education back then is not a modern education now. And what is modern education now will not be modern education tomorrow. For instance, I talked about the Gurukul system was a traditional education. It got replaced by normal schools. And now the normal schools will be replaced by various modern education institutions like the distant education, which we'll be talking about later. 
so now let us come to the topic regarding the distinction between the modern education and the traditional education so basically the traditional education was more or less teacher centered education that is preference was given to the teachers whereas the modern education is learner oriented that is the student oriented education in traditional education there was passive learning wherein it was more or less the teachers who are the more dominant role to play rather than the students but whereas now it is active learning there is an equal contribution from both the sides this is the same story with our fourth point that is one way transfer and a multi way transfer that is involvement of many people is a multi way transfer and involvement of one person or the professor himself is the one way transfer now talking about the discipline specific uh, discipline specific which is our traditional education so our traditional education is discipline specific that is they are concerned only about the discipline they are teaching whereas the modern education is discipline specific plus it it uh, it strives for developing your personality as a whole so these are the basic differences between traditional and modern education at the very same time it is imperative to understand that there are few lacunas in the traditional education these will be dealt by my partner deepa yeah thank you ishan good evening one and all my name is deepa i'll be explaining the traditional education why it doesn't work in the modern scenario so i have explained it in five points so they are lack of focus on critical thinking being syllabus oriented loss of creativity fourth more focus on rote memorization and fifth and most importantly less emphasis on practical skills so when a student learns in traditional education system they as usual do not understand the purpose of the education how does it benefit them in the future being syllabus oriented they do not keep themselves well updated along with the changes that are happening in our law economy and various other aspects and because they are not updated they are not making their thinking pattern they are not being creative there is a creativity loss in their a personality if you can say and that leads to a repetition and memorization of the subject matter which they need to learn and many of the students they learn before one day of examination and that leads to less emphasis on practical skills which is more important in their career development or shall i say the modern cutthroat competition so where do we lack and where do we need to make the change the answer is here we just need to see thank you next point will be explained by my friend rohit rohit please go ahead thank you deepa and now we will discuss about today's scenario of modern education सो so, आज के समय में जो हमारा एजुकेशन सिस्टम का वो माहौल है वो सीन है वो उस समय के जो पुराने व्यवस्था जो थी जो ट्रेडिशनल एजुकेशन सिस्टम थी उससे बिल्कुल ही अलग है जहाँ पे साइंस और टेक्नोलॉजी से रिलेटेड कोई भी बातें नहीं करता था और आज अगर हम सिर्फ और सिर्फ कल्चर और ट्रेडिशन से बातें करें तो वो हमें हमारे लिए वो अच्छा माना नहीं जाता जैसे दे आर नॉट सफिशियंट इनफ फॉर टू डेज वर्ल्ड सो क्योंकि आज लोगों की जरूरतें जो है बदल चुकी है ऐसा कहा जाता है कि हर बदलते समय के अनुसार हमें हमारे एजुकेशन सिस्टम को भी बदलना बहुत जरूरी है एंड नाउ फॉर द वी विल मूव टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड जहाँ पे हम डिस्कस करें कि आज हमारे आज के समय में जो हमें स्किल्स चाहिए जो ट्रेडिशनल सिस्टम में हमें लाइक नहीं मिलती थी जैसे कि हमें मॉडर्न एजुकेशन में देखने को मिलती है जैसे कि परसिवियरेंस सो दिस इज द एबिलिटी टू कीप डूइंग नो मैटर हाउ हार्ड इट इज सेकेंड वन इज क्रिएटिविटी सो ब्रिंगिंग समथिंग न्यू और इनोवेटिव आइडियाज इन टू एग्जिस्टेंस थर्ड वन इज प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग Skills that are necessary for finding sol solutions of different problems. Entrepreneurial skills, skills related to entrepreneurship, जो किसी entrepreneurship project को अपने objective को प्राप्त करने के लिए जो skills चाहिए वो हमें इसमें देखने को मिलती है. Teamwork, that's what we are doing now. And critical thinking. So this is the ability to think clearly and rationally in what to do and what to believe. So these all are the skills that we need in 21st century skills, 21st century for the survival. and now for the next part we will move to anjali thank you rohit i am anjali hello everyone and i'll be taking you through the next two slides on the left hand side we have a graph from 2002 to 2010 and it's about online enrollment of courses see how it's gone up now can you imagine that in this scenario of corona virus when everyone has access to e education and it's fully tapped as a resource how steeply increasing and exponentially increasing this graph must be Now on the right hand side we have summed up summed up in three points. First is use of technology which has obviously been covered by my friends earlier. Next we have multiple teaching aids which means that if a student cannot understand one point he can put it up on Quora put it up on Google multiple apps and websites. Next we have flexibility. What I mean by that is that 
I don't have to wake up at 5.30 anymore to catch a 5.30 train, then travel to the other side of Mumbai to attend my 7 a.m. lecture. I can do it right here sitting at my home. Now in the next slide, we have summed it up in three points. First is distant learning, which is obvious that me, a resident of Mumbai, can have any foreign university course. Can you imagine how beneficial is that for my future point of view? Of course, next we have inclusivity. In traditional system, only natural sciences and languages were given importance. But social sciences are the true weapon of today, and they are covered in modern education. For example, economics, global politics, ethics, gay studies, filmography, etc. Lastly, we have individual learning, which means that every student learns differently. No more one teacher and one method of learning. We have multiple options and we will have access to them. In conclusion, I'd like to say that modern education holds much more leverage. And I'll pass it on to my friend Ronit now. Thank you. So in the end, it is really difficult to judge which type of education is better. Both do have their own importance in their own era. But as modern education is today's world, we must look forward. However, learning should be done from, very as from every aspect so that it is applicable in day-to-day -day life at, as well. Teaching should be such that what is offered is perceived as a valuable gift and not as a hard duty. Is the principle what we think is the way forward. Thank you. That was an amazing session. Thank you everyone for attending it and making it successful. See you guys in the next episode. Thank you. Stay, stay tuned and keep watching LND Global Mumbai and Connect Talk.